Living with sickle cell disease can be difficult and oftentimes unpredictable. Explaining the condition to a child can also be challenging. A few years ago, the Hackworths found themselves doing just that. After learning the results of their youngest daughter Sanaya's newborn screening. We were literally looking outside the window. When you have a full moon, that's how your red blood cells look. And then I said, but that moon, the way it's shaped right now, is like a crescent. And when it's shaped like that, you don't have as much oxygen that's flowing through your body. Over time, crescent moon-shaped blood cells can lead to stroke or organ damage. These can be extremely painful periods known as crises. Being proactive and avoiding the triggers that cause this are key to being healthy when you have sickle cell disease. How you go about your daily living is different. We would just take our kids to the park and our older kids put a light jacket on and not think anything of it. If we're taking Sanaya, how strong is the wind? How long are we gonna be outside? And some people may think I'm over the top with it, but I'd rather that than to be in the hospital. It wasn't until Sanaya was six months old after running a fever that she needed to be taken to Cincinnati Children's for care. And when you have a fever of 101, degrees and you have sickle cell, it's considered a medical emergency. So we ended up going to the hospital. We spent that night, her first Christmas night in the hospital. Over the next 13 weeks, we, we were in and out of the hospital 11 times. To help her create more healthy red blood cells, Sanaya's hematologist suggested a drug called hydroxyurea. It wasn't an easy decision, but Sanaya's parents agreed to let her participate in the research study at Cincinnati Children's and she began taking the medication at nine months old. Maybe there's something else that comes along in a few years, but for right now, hydroxyurea seems like the best bet. And she takes penicillin as well. She's now at the age where she comes to us and says, is it time for my medicine yet? It goes very fast. The one big hope is that we can one day find a cure for sickle cell disease. For Sanaya, that she can grow up do, be, have anything she wants. She says she wants to be a doctor and a ballerina. <laughs> and she asked us the other day, can I do both? I said, you sure can. <laughs>